With trepidation, scientists are preparing to see the end of an extraordinary mission deep into space that's lasted more than a decade. Then the communications lifeline to the spacecraft Rosetta dies. It was as if the control team had lost a friend. They'd been nurturing Rosetta for 12 years, making history, breaking records. Now it's all over. But we can finally say that Rosetta has come home to size. Um, farewell, Rosetta. You've done the job. That was space science at its best. Thank you. It was back in March 2004 that this mission started an extraordinary journey through six billion kilometers of space. We're at the comet. Yes! Eventually, Rosetta became the first spacecraft to orbit a comet. And it was 10 years after the launch that its washing machine size Really thinking big now. It was a really large amount of data from the lander filet. That was despite being unable to drill into the soil for samples. Instead, it went into sniffing mode, analyzing the gases and dust surrounding the comet. Now, Rosetta, the first spacecraft to orbit a comet, lies near to filet, its lander on the surface. I think this has been a very emotional moment today. Uh, I hope we will not fall in a collective depression. Uh, and the uh, best way to avoid this is party tonight. And uh, in only 20 days from now, we will be landing on the surface of Mars. So there's life beyond Rosetta. Somewhere near to the planet Jupiter's orbit, the wreckage of this mission is hurtling through space. It's confirmed that billions of years ago, comets like this one had brought water and chemicals that may have kick-started life in our solar system. Andrew Simmons, Al Jazeera.